in today's session uh, we will learn the manual calculation of all these performance measure ratios uh, we have the quarterly data of fund prices index prices as well as risk free rate is per annum the first we will convert these risk free rate into quarterly risk free rate dividing it by 4 after that we calculate to portfolio or fund return with the help of this formula means ending price plus dividend distribution plus capital distribution minus beginning price divided beginning price here as we don't have uh, uh, capital distribution and dividend distribution just we will uh, use ending price minus beginning price divided beginning divided by beginning uh, and its reduced form is just ending divided by beginning minus one so ending price of fund divided by beginning price of fund minus one the same formula can be applied for market return as well. Now, as in uh, you can see that in the uh, train R ratio, we need uh, beta to calculate and we need uh, here we have another measure of Jensen alpha. Here is this is the formula for Jensen alpha. Uh, we uh, again apply capital asset pricing model. So to get Jensen alpha and beta, we need excess portfolio return as well as excess market return. So First, we fund return minus this free rate. Then market return minus this free rate. And uh, we copy it for the rest of the cells for all other quarters. Now, uh, to calculate uh, uh, beta, we need x, y as well as x square. So we multiplied this x by y. Remember, you will have to do all these calculations with the help of calculator because most of the time in exams questions, uh, you are asked to calculate uh, these performance ratios manually. So now take uh, square of x and then copy it down. So we need uh, sum of all these because we need average risk free rate, every portfolio return, every market return. So how we can get average? There is a simple formula. Sum of observation uh, values, sum of values divided by number of observation. Here is the formula summation as divided by. And so you will have to add, add all these values. First, we will sum it with the help of calculator and then we will sum all these columns. Now to get the average, we divide this sum by number of observation. Here we have four number of observation. So these are averages, average of risk-free rate, average of portfolio return, and average of market return. Now to get the beta, uh, we apply this formula, uh, beta, that is n summation x y minus summation x into summation y divided by n summation x square minus summation x whole square. So in numerator, uh, we have number of operation four that is multiplied by summation x y minus summation x into summation y. So this is our numerator. And for denominator, we have number of operation four multiplied by summation x square this one and minus mission x whole square power two. When we divide numerator by denominator, we will get beta that is 1.94. Now to get the alpha, we have this Jensen alpha. Uh, we have y bar minus beta x bar. Now we are, how y bar is calculated again, summation of y divided by number of observation. And the same way for x bar, summation of x divided by number of observation that is 4. Now, y bar minus theta multiplied by x bar, we will get Jensen alpha. Now, what uh, 
uh, another ratio that is uh, Sartino ratio. For Sartino ratio, we need downside risk. So we will penalize only uh, negative returns. And uh, here is the procedure that we will put one if our target, if our portfolio return is less than target return. Here we assume that our target return is risk free rate. So first of all, we calculate portfolio or fund return minus risk free rate. And now just copy it down. Here you can see that we have two negative returns. So we will place one in FT column for these two and for other we will put zero. Now we need a uh, square of this column as well. Power two. And then. We should multiply. These two column RP minus T square divided by FT. So that we will get this one. Now we will have to add. These values. And then in 10 uh, in sorry, 13 ratio, we have portfolio, every portfolio return minus every target return divided by downside risk. Uh, so to get this one downside risk, we divide it by number of observation and we will take under root. So equal to this sum divided by number of observation that is 4 raised to power 0.5 to take it's under root. So we have calculated downside risk. Now in uh, information ratio, we need uh, tacking error. So what is tacking error? But basically is the difference of, uh, it is a standard deviation of difference of portfolio return minus any benchmark return. You will take any other fund uh, or uh, market as benchmark. So here we calculate uh, these differences. And we assume that our benchmark portfolio is market return. So this is the difference. Now we need standard deviation of uh, all these uh, uh, the values of uh, difference of portfolio return and market return. To calculate uh, standard deviation manually, we use this formula summation x minus x bar square divided by n. And we also need this standard deviation for sharp ratio as well. In sharp ratio, you can see that we have every portfolio return minus risk, every risk rate divided by standard deviation of portfolio. So to get uh, standard deviation calculation, I am again here. I have already calculated, so I will calculate it again. No. Here just put because we need uh, uh, standard deviation of portfolio return. So I will copy these values here or just uh, you should copy. Basically you will have to do manually all these calculations. So these are basically uh, portfolio return and we need some of these because we will have to calculate deviation and how X bar is calculated again, some of these X divided by number of that is four. So our X bar is 0 0.0494. So to get deviations, you will have to subtract uh, this average from each value of X manually. And then after getting these deviation, you will have to sum it and it should be equal to zero because uh, sum of deviation from mean is always equal to zero. Then we need its square because we need square deviation uh, in uh, calculation of standard deviation. So we have taken its square. And we need its sum as well, so we will sum it. And now how standard deviation is calculated? Sum of square deviation divided by number of observation and its power 0.5. So 0 0.1381, I am just copying here that this is basically standard deviation of portfolio. Now I need standard deviation of 
this uh, the difference of portfolio return and benchmark that is also called uh, tracking error. Uh, in some of the uh, calculation, you will find that it is divided by n minus one. It is basically uh, some percent deviation. Anyhow, uh, we will take this data again. You will have to repeat this procedure to get the standard deviation of these value. So this value again, you will have to do it manually, and you will have to uh, basically calculate standard deviation twice for two different data set. Now here standard deviation is 0.1218. This is basically checking error. Now after doing all these calculation, we will make summary first. Average risk free return. This one. This is our average risk free rate return. Then average portfolio return. This is our average portfolio return. Then average market return. This is average market return. Then excess portfolio return, or it is also called. Uh, my uh, portfolio premium that is portfolio return minus average is free return because it is the numerator in two hour ratios uh, train R and uh, insert uh, in sharp ratio. Then this is standard deviation of portfolio. We had already calculated it. Then beta. We have this systematic risk. Then Jensen Alpha, we had already calculated. Then downside risk, this is our downside risk, 0 0.084. And then tracking error, we have this tracking error. Now, after making this summary, then we will calculate these ratios. Basically, all uh, these ratios are calculated manually. I'm just uh, using Excel sheet to explain all these calculation. You will have to do all these calculation manually. Now, in sharp ratio, we have numerator like this one, average risk free rate, uh, sorry, uh, uh, average portfolio return minus average risk free rate. We have already done it, this one, divided by standard deviation of portfolio. So this is our sharp ratio. Then for trainer, We have again this 0 0.02 divided by beta. Then just uh, just you will have to check these average quarterly return. That is OK. OK, uh, then Jensen Alpha. Then Sartino ratio. In Sartino ratio, the numerator is same because we have taken risk free rate as the target return. Divided by downside risk. And then information ratio. In one formation ratio, average portfolio return minus average benchmark portfolio that was market portfolio divided by uh, tracking error. Just a minute, we will have to check uh, uh, the formula that whether it is okay. Let's see if oh, yes, it is okay and is, it is also okay. Then some, some matter. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching uh, this video.